Okay, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Two, and he will outreach Iceland's Nelson by two inches. The co-main event of the push. Boiling out of the blue corner of Nick Bartolato. Weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. First time. Holy professional record. 16 wins, three losses. Here in England, presenting the number 10 right. And when the matchup, we have Gunnar Nelson. I think would be affected by fighting at home, but being the villain. Yeah, they are not so much. And I do think it's the needle between him and Darren Till that's caused. It's I'm a fan too. He's such an interesting character. Oh, gonna... <laughs> would never. <laughs> Nothing but respect. Stamp his authority on this. This is the area where it could become problem. I mean, Edwards has been talking about how he wants to show his ground game. We, we've seen his ability to ground an opponent. Yep. And now this is the slow progress to the back. Momentarily. Yeah, but Gunner all over him right away. Right away. No space. He wants to free those legs and then stand up as fast as he can. And Gunner nails to his back straight away and claps off. Edwards actually told me he thought that between the karate style, but obviously the phenomenal ground strike. He's just mixed his martial arts in a different way. That, that's all it is, really. I mean, a lot of the jiu-jitsu, Gunnar Nelson's kind of turned the whole thing on his head. He's gone, right, I want to... Edwards told me, he said, we haven't seen Nelson on his back. I want it in jiu-jitsu style, which he, um, he gets around the body very nice. Able to, you know, stick it out with, uh, with Damian Meyer and, and not give up. You They're pretty good on the ground, I can tell you that. Exactly. Nelson and engage in a grappling match. That may be an unnecessary gamble. Team Renegade, Tom Breeze, who sadly wasn't able to... Yeah, as well. yeah the boats are all pulled up on the Thames. <laughs> the Viking... And controlling him, landing some punches, potentially taking this round away. Into the fence uh, of, of the Octagon, so he knows that if he troll of the back. Nice control. This apart from the Maya fights. But he is an isolated out of there, give up his back, give up a bad position. Yeah, we have to so it's some problems on the ground. Yeah. Edwards had invited in a number of karate guys this camp. And let's get back to our game plan. Yeah? Let's get control that middle. Yeah? Let's not entertain his game. Alright, son? Come on. You see that feet? The feet are right there. Break the angle, move them nice and high. Number two in this welterweight co-main contest Ready. you see Ready. there, good him, but there's no point engaging in his game. Right? It's, it's a smart thing to do. It's smart thing. To, it's beneficial to Edwards to actually try and engage in the grappling. He finds himself. The questions being answered, but then the corners saying, "Up, you, you got that round back." Is what they said to him. Now let's get back to the game. Significant strikes, 18 to three, Dan. But I mean, we we know Gunnar Nelson. So although. Edwards has more volume here, we shouldn't read into that. Too. Has he ever attempted to shoot a takedown at the end of the round to try and get ahead on the scorecards? He's a martial artist through and through looking to get the finish. What one thing that we... They can't control what their fighter's ego will want I was going to say, right? I didn't want to say the... Happening exchanges, that's a huge statement. But it is also made... Oh, nice. nice elbow over the top from Edwards. He seems a lot more comfortable, very good position psychologically. And that cowboy victory is staying in Birmingham. And it's almost like I'm um, fighting good and else, and should I have answering that in that way because he's definitely making the right moves. Freeze, uh, Aiden Lee's there, you know what I mean? They've got some real good guys on the map. Yes. On the break, Nelson has his hands low because yeah. he's a great artist. Yes. That's a, that's a key observation to have. If you're going to watch tape it, pick out one or two or three things that you're like, I'm really going to focus on this. Yeah, I want both ways. Leave the leg. Yeah, don't stay there too long. Get the pressure on him. I'm back on the long punches. Back on the to man wrap. Right in the cross with a head kick, yeah? When he sees, yeah? Let's get him back to the game plan. Yeah, we're telling him to, you know, go back to the long punches. The backhand, he's going to throw that straight and follow it with a body lock. And then Nelson from moving forward in a straight line. In a second. But Edwards has been all over it so far. He's not letting... The pressure! Oh, he's hurt! He's only got a few seconds here. Nelson survived. He was taking shots there to stay calm. Well, I think he's broken something. Wow, that is dead. Yeah, broken when he over Deep breathe. This is what you were training for, brother. Through that oh, elbow. elbow. 
caught him with the tight clips and right on the side of the head. And you could see Gunnar Nelson had no idea. Oh, okay. This is what you were training for, okay? This third round is brought to you by... Into this one, our co-main event, third and final round. ...of the clinch. Now what does gonna do? Does he does he push forward? Does he have vulnerability that can be exploited? Another elbow on that same spot, Paul. Not much worse, but that was just such a beautiful counter from Edwards. Really nice. Capitalizing big time on that yeah. tonight. And using... Oh, doing really good work here to defend the takedown. Like, he's gotta watch his neck. Even good job fighting and hanging up against his body or his head. Again, you can see Edward second latest finish in three round UFC history. So he can really do everything. Need the end of the bell. This is it's just a mature, uh, in himself perfectly to shut that down and capitalize on any mistakes that he makes. He's making Nelson pay for these as well. Not and you can see Gunnar reading him. He's, he's, he's trying to figure out the safest way in. It's been working. Let's listen in to the Nelson corner and see. He's not, I mean, in his range, but uh, Leon Edwards is giving him there's an elbow again. Yeah. 55 strikes to 17. Which we knew that the case at all so far. Leon yeah. Edwards really proving the doubters here tonight. That's why Leon Edwards yeah. got his hands up on the floor. Gunnar Nelson with a soul down. <laughs> he could well, he's, he's in the right position to Slapping away. Edwards is Nelson from the mount position and went up oh my about goodness. 50 beats per minute under a minute left. Yeah. But then you know when it comes to when it comes to hanging the decision and finish the fight in the mount, I mean it props to gonna know it by Leon Edwards. A really, really well rounded that. UFC is back in Nashville for a striker's delight at Welterweight. The main card begins on ESPN Plus at 8 p.m. Eastern with the Plus Prelim start. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Sim scores it 29 27 Edwards. Leon Rocky Leon, let's have a few words. You looked incredible. Minute that I didn't want to bridge and give my back up, then you put some respect on my name. I want. So, that's where I'm at. I should be number five now. He, he breaks the clinch with his hands down. That elbow. Tell me. When it breaks, I'll go with the elbow then. <laughs> you call him perfect. Vision that you are a well rounded MMA fighter. I can do all that, I swear to God. I'm 27 years old, I'm still learning it. I want that rematch. Leon Rocky Edwards! From that man, congratulations to him and all the guys